Good morning. Today is Sunday, August 6, 2023, and it is day number 575 in my fasting journey and day number 218 in my exercise journey. So I get on the scale once a week and Sunday is my weigh-in day. When I last got on the scale, I was 117.6 pounds and this morning I am 117.8 pounds. So I am up two tenths of a pound since last week and I'm so pleased with my weigh-in this morning because this is two weeks in a row now that I have been in the 117s and I've never done this since starting my fasting journey, been at 117 for more than a week. So. I'm really pleased with my weight this morning and curious to see if this is a new trend. And so we'll have to see next week what my weight is. But anyways, so in terms of my meals, I am doing OMAD and I have evening refeeds. And when I have a meal, I try to eat as low carb and as clean as I possibly can. And what I mean when I say clean is that I try my very best to stay away from processed foods. So Jack Lalanne, he was a fitness guru and he had this saying that if man made it, don't eat it. And this is a philosophy that I try my best and I'm not perfect at this, but I try my best to live by this philosophy. And I've been doing this for the past year and a half now. And I just feel like really good and really amazing, especially when I stick strictly to that rule. But anyways, so what I'm having this evening is a stir fry. And so it's gonna consist of beef strips that I'll season with salt and pepper, minced garlic, minced ginger, and maybe a little bit of cayenne pepper to kind of like make things a little bit spicy. And I'm gonna add to the stir fry water chestnuts, um, a Vidalia onion that I'll chop up, and also um, some peppers, a green pepper and a yellow bell pepper. And I'll cook everything in Partana Brands Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And for a sauce, I am going to use Bragg's Liquid Aminos, which has a soy sauce taste to it. And I'm gonna try something new today. So when I was in the store, I saw something called cauliflower rice. I've never had it before. And I'm gonna put my stir fry on top of the rice. And so the cauliflower rice is two net carbs total. And you get net carbs by subtracting fiber from total carbs. So there's four total carbs in this and the fiber is two grams. And so that's how I came up with two net carbs total. And so then for a side, I'm gonna have a shiitake mushroom that I'll chop up and add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to it and also some Bragg's liquid aminos and that will be today's refeed. So in terms of my exercise journey, so I am doing Travis Elliott's Flexibility and Beyond program. It is an eight week yin yoga program. I just completed week four, so I am officially halfway through this program. And in my past several videos, I mentioned that I was going through a detox, a mental, emotional, and spiritual detox, and things have calmed down so much, but a new issue has arisen. And that is that I'm experiencing some pain in my right wrist, and I don't know if pain is the right word to describe this. It's like a little bit more than discomfort, but less than, um, you know, pain. And so I'm probably gonna have to modify a lot of the moves that, um, forced me to kind of like apply pressure to my wrist. I've been wearing a wrist brace. And so back in 2019, when I did this program for the first time, when I got like more than halfway through the program, I started experiencing problems with my right wrist as well. And I just kind of like assumed that the problems stemmed from the fact that I was 219 pounds and that was a lot of weight for my body, um, for my wrist to kind of like hold up. But it looks like um, maybe this is something that I could be doing wrong. Um, maybe I am not holding the positions correctly. And so I'm gonna be really careful this week. I'm gonna pay attention to the video and um, hopefully I will get some relief this week. But anyways, so I'm gonna do my best to modify the moves. And if I find that a certain move, I'm just not able to do it because of my wrist, then I'll just put myself in child's pose for that move and so. Anyways, so that's kind of like what's going on with my exercise journey. So today is before and after picture Sunday. I have posted my before and after picture in the thumbnail for today's video. And it's around that water retaining time of the month for me. And so I'm feeling a little bit bloated and it may show a little bit in today's picture, but I know this will pass within the next several days. <clears throat> 
But what I wanted to talk about today is keeping promises that you make to yourself. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is for two reasons. First of all, somebody left a comment for me about this subject in one of my previous videos. And second of all, I've made a promise to myself that I really regret and that I don't want to keep. And uh, But I've decided that I needed to keep the promise I've made because I've made that promise to myself. And I'm trying to, you know, get out of the habit of breaking promises to myself. And so basically the promise that I made to myself is that I decided that I was going to go to work today and work on this filing project. I really just do not like filing. So when I'm at work, I just kind of like shove papers aside and put them in a box. And right now I have a banker's box that's overflowing with papers that need to be filed. And so I kind of like figure it's about time to tackle this project. <clears throat> And I figured, you know, I'm going to be at work. It's Sunday. It's going to be quiet. And I should start to work on this other project that I've been putting off for a while, which is cleaning out this closet that whenever I get a package at work, um, I just kind of like shove things in the closet. And so now it has gotten out of hand as well. And so... I really regret making these promises to myself because now I just wish that I could sit at home and relax and do whatever, but I've made this commitment to myself and I'm going to keep it. And it's not even about the filing. It's not even about cleaning out the closet. It's about the fact that I'm trying to do better with the way I treat myself. I'm trying to treat myself with a lot more love and kindness and respect. And one of the ways that I can do that is keeping promises that I make to myself. And so you may wonder why it is so like easy to keep promises that you've made to others. Like you bend over backwards to keep promises that you've made to others, but you are consistently breaking promises that you've made to yourself. And I think one of the reasons why is when you make promises to others, breaking those promises, you have a lot more to lose. For example, maybe you will face judgment from that person by breaking a promise to them, or maybe you will lose that person's trust and um, confidence and faith in you and respect in you. And that's not really a good place to be in, especially if this is someone that is important to you. And when you have lost somebody's trust, it is really kind of like hard to regain that, that trust if you're even able to do so. And another reason why you might kind of like bend over backwards to keep promises to other people is that you could, you know, risk damaging your reputation because maybe you break this promise to one person and they tell someone else. And then the next thing you know, you have this reputation as someone that can't be trusted, someone that can't be relied on. And um, these are labels that I really don't like that I wouldn't want associated with me. And another reason why you might bend over backwards to keep promises that you've made to other people is maybe there's a part of you that kind of like likes the approval that you get after you've kept a promise. And so those are just kind of like the re things that I can think of at the top of my head, why you might go out of your way to keep promises to other people. And why it's so easy to break promises to yourself is probably because you did it once and you realize that there weren't like many consequences to breaking this promise to yourself. Um, maybe you beat yourself up and maybe you felt frustrated and maybe you felt disappointed in yourself. But um, in my case, I've usually gotten over that, you know, pretty quickly. And so there weren't a lot of consequences um, in the past when I've broken promises to myself. So... How does this relate to what I talk about here on my channel, which is a weight loss channel? Well, um, you know, you may make a promise to yourself that today's the day that you're gonna start a diet, or you may make a promise to yourself that today is the day you're gonna start your fasting journey, or you may make a promise to yourself that you're gonna start an exercise journey, and you may find that on a somewhat consistent basis, you seem to break those promises. This was kind of like the story of my life for like seven or eight years. When I was stuck at 219 pounds, I was constantly making promises to myself that today is the day that I'm going to lose the weight. Today is the day that I am going to start my fasting journey. 
Today is the day that I'm going to start my exercise journey. Today is the day that I'm going to start a diet. And I never kept any of those promises to myself. And it was definitely very frustrating. And I think kind of like one of the reasons why I was consistently breaking promises to myself is like I said, when you do it once, you see how like easy it is and you kind of like make it easier for it to happen again in the future. And so how do you kind of like avoid this happening in the future? Well, I wish I had an easy answer for you, but the truth is that you just have to do it. Um, whether you want to or not, if you've made a promise to yourself, you need to, you know, follow through on it. And it is really important to kind of like follow through on these promises that you make to yourself because what happens when you have someone in your life who is consistently breaking promises to you, to you, what happens? You kind of like lose trust in them. You lose faith in them. You lose confidence in them. And you need to be able to trust yourself. You need to be able to have confidence in yourself. You need to be able to have faith in yourself, especially if you're wanting to, you know, lose this weight and keep this weight off because basically you are with yourself 24 seven. You're going to be with yourself for the rest of your life. And you need to be able to trust in yourself to make the right decisions. Um, this is so important if you are going to keep this weight off. And so if you have set out to kind of like lose this weight, um, first of all, make small promises to yourself. This is kind of like why I've started telling you to, you know, start off small um, because you start off small, maybe getting rid of one thing from your diet, like maybe getting rid of the sodas or the, you know, chips or the cookies. Just get rid of one thing, focus on that one thing for a little while. And after you've gotten rid of, rid of that one thing, and move on to something else. Give yourself a little bit more, um, you know, responsibility until the next thing you know, you've gotten everything out of your diet that you know doesn't benefit you, that you know is not in your best interest. And then maybe once you've gotten your diet taken care of, then move on to starting a fast and start small, maybe with eight hours. And then, um, you know, once that's easy, give yourself a little bit more fasting time until the next thing you know, you'll be able to do maybe rolling 72s if that's something that you are interested in. And then once you've kind of like gotten the hang of the fasting, then maybe you can start incorporating fast uh, exercise into your journey and just start off small and then work your way up to doing a little bit more. And it is so important that once you have made a promise to yourself that you stick with it, that you commit to it, because basically what you're doing is you're training your brain, you're creating a neural pathway in your brain to make whatever it is that you're doing a little bit easier for you in the future. And this is going to take work at first. It's not gonna always be easy, but something that you can do to make this easier is make um, you know this new habit that you're trying to ingrain in your brain a little bit more fun and so today when I am filing and cleaning that closet out I'm gonna listen to my favorite music and I'm gonna take little breaks um, so I can do something that I enjoy and then pick back up with my project and so um, anyways so that's kind of like what I wanted to talk about in today's video and before I close out today's video I wanted to say that today um, here we are. We're in August. We have about five months left to the end of the year. And I want you to make a commitment to yourself that you are going to work hard, that you're going to do your best, and you're going to give it your all to achieve your body goals. And I really want you to, you know, commit to this and be serious about this because the last thing I want is for you to get to the end of 2023 and to look back at this year and realize that you didn't do enough to um, you know, achieve those body goals. I don't want you to feel like you have squandered your time this year. And so you have ample opportunity right now, if you start today to get to your ultimate goal, and if you can't, aren't able to get to your ultimate goal, you can certainly make a huge dent, um, you know, if you start today. And so I want you to com commit to either starting today if you have not done so, or if you have started, but maybe you've fallen off course, you've fallen kind of like off the wagon, I want you to get back on track today. And if you are in the midst of, you know, working towards your body goals, I want you to keep going and, you know, give this your all and do your very best. And just remember that your very best does not mean perfection. It just means that at the end of the day, if you ask yourself if I did my very best, you can say yes. And I want you to commit to this. 
And, um, you know, um, starting it doesn't mean, you know, completely changing your life overnight. It just means, you know, doing something little, doing something small, and then building from there um, as time goes on. And so anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. Um, I want you to, you know, start, you know, keeping promises that you've made to yourself. And I just want to say one last thing that if you've made a promise to yourself and, um, you know, by keeping that promise, it will put you in danger or someone else in danger and please do not hesitate to break that promise and there's been you know several occasions over the course of my life where I've made promises to myself and it would not have been a good idea for me to keep them for instance back in 2015 I was on a 33 day water fast and I was just not doing well and um, I had to break that fast and so um, it would not have been a good idea for me to keep a promise to myself to make it to 40 days and you know there's been instances where I've sprained my ankle and it would not have you know been a good idea for me to kind of like you know start an exercise journey where I'm like walking 20,000 steps a day and so just kind of like use judgment use common sense if you know keeping a promise that you've made is going to hurt you or someone else then please don't hesitate to you know break that promise to yourself but other than that you know I want you to you know keep all these promises that you've made to yourself because you're good enough you are worthy and you are so deserving to you know keep these promises that you've made it to yourself you're kind of like the star of your reality you're like the main character in the story of your life and you need to start treating yourself you know um with a lot of love and kindness and respect and so that is today's video i hope that you have an absolutely amazing sunday and i'll be back next week and i think that's the 13th so take care bye